Good hitting in the rain always. New look OK Gold has been good to Grand Rapids Christian so far, but tonight they met an old OK White rival in East Grand Rapids. Both teams began the night undefeated in divisional play. Ashley St. Louis was at Memorial Field and tells us who stayed that way. The Pioneers coming into tonight's game trying to hand Grand Rapids Christian their first loss on the year. It was a defensive battle until midway through the second. Mutt rolling to his right and he's got a wide open Jack Combs to put East on the board first. Then early third with the rain coming down hard. Habahania finds a big gap and he's off to the races for a 55 yard score. And Pioneers are up 13 to nothing. Then we're headed to the fourth. Christian looking for some momentum. And Isaac Dykema is going to give it to him, tossing a bomb up to Darius Barfield for a 60-yard touchdown. Eagles are within six. But that's not going to be for long because Pioneers are back in the red zone. And Hania cuts up the middle, breaking a tackle. And he's around the outside to put the Pioneers up 21-7. to Here it's late fourth. East GR going to make sure this is theirs to take home. And Connor Davis muscles his way across the the goal line and East with the big one over Christian 28 to 7. Big game for us, a uh, big win. You know, we take one game at a time and this happened to be the next one on our schedule. It's a great football team. They're really well coached. So yeah, huge one for us. We gave up seven points. So I think we executed defensively really well. They're explosive and uh, we wanted to try to slow down the best we could and we were able to do that. Offensively, we wanted to run the ball and I feel like we were able to do that as well. Well guys, there are plenty of football fans out there thinking East Grand Rapids was going to be the underdog tonight as they already have two losses on the season and Christian coming in here undefeated but the pioneers prove themselves tonight holding Christian to just seven points and they're going to continue that momentum next week as they host Wayland and Christian's going to hope to bounce back against Forest Hills Eastern in East Grand Rapids Ashley St. Louis Fox 17 Blitz. Thanks a lot Ashley. Well a couple high scoring teams South Christian and Allendale facing off in an expected shootout tonight third quarter Falcons with the 22 to 12 lead Colton Clute throws on the run to Jared Dankowski for the long pass picks up quite a bit of yards there a few plays later Clute this time will keep it himself for the 16 yard touchdown run Allendale up 29 to 12 early in the fourth now. It's Stankowski coming up here. He's running untouched into the end zone. Look at the blocking on that. Nobody touched him. <laughs> That's the way to get it done, right? Allendale gets it done 37 to 20 to find it. Grand Rapids Catholic Central looking to go to 6 0, visiting Sparta tonight, first quarter. Spartans Grant Kelly on the keeper. He's in. It was 6 0. Sparta, second quarter. Sparta looking to add to that lead. Kelly going to throw. But Derek Saucus had to switch to 32 tonight because they played him at tight end a little from 56, and I think he'll stick with 32. The interception returned for a touchdown, put Catholic Central ahead 7 to 6. Then later in the second quarter, Cougars on the doorstep, and they give it to Mr. Antonio Strong. Strong into the end zone for one yard. Catholic Central wins 21 6. They are 6 and 0 on the season. Brett, when you start to add up these wins for Catholic Central, they're battling some injuries right now. They're still 6-0. And look, at they beat Allendale, who's proven to be really good. They beat East Grand Rapids, who's proven to be really good. The Catholic Central wins are looking pretty good at this point. And Jay, remind me, is there like a big matchup with Catholic Central West Catholic looming kind of a couple weeks from now, maybe? Might be. Might I mean, be. that's going to be... That's going to be an interesting game with the offensive firepower of West Catholic as well. Now, I think Todd Colster would like to get a little more off his offense, give Sparta and Mark Chapman credit. They put up a good fight tonight on a rainy night on the road for Catholic Central at Sparta. But, yeah, Catholic Central certainly has the championship calendar defense. They can get through this injury bug and the offense. That's going to be fun in a couple weeks with West Catholic at Cougar Stadium. I want to go back to East Grand Rapids. This was my victory of the night by any team. I know we had some great matchups, but you look at what they had to do and to shut down Grand Rapids Christian's offense, which really no one has done, 28-7. to The defense was outstanding. Congrats to Casey Longo, first-year head coach at East Grand Rapids. This is a turning point game for them, Jay. I really feel that way. Now with just four, uh, two losses and four wins, it looks like they're probably going to make the playoffs for sure with that victory. And you look at these games, guys. We've still got so much to play. And you're right about East Grand Rapids. When you look back, Catholic Central and Lowell, both still unbeaten going into week seven. Their only losses. Impressive. And Mike Malowitz coming to play tonight with that nice touchdown pass to Jack Combs. Those two, if they can get it going, they've got some weapons offensively for EGR. 
year Jack Combs is having a wide receiver has been very good. And you say make the playoffs, they're going to win the OK Gold, Brad. They're the only undefeated team in divisional play. Now, they still have South Christian down the road here in a little bit. But I want to talk to you about Casey Longo because he gets the job when Peter Sturzma leaves and goes to Hope. And they said, why would you hire a young coach with no experience? And my answer to that was, well, isn't that what they did with Peter Sturzma? And look how that turned out. How about the job that Casey Longo's done when you look at their losses to 6-0 Lowell and 6-0 Catholic Central? Well, and they stay within the system. You know, certainly East Grand Rapids, you probably could have gone out and gotten a lot of different people that would want that job. I mean, why not? Peter Sturzma, seven state championships. But they say, no, you know what? We've got a good group of coaches here. Casey had experience with them, working at the varsity, head coach of the JV for a while, former player. So they keep it within and obviously give him some time. He's doing a nice job with this team. But, yeah, that to me was a surprising win, even though it's a great rivalry game over Grand Rapids Christian because they just did something basically that no one has done to this point in shutting down that high-powered Eagles offense. Absolutely. Thanks, Brett. Well, time for now for a look at our top 10 poll. Number one, Muskegon not in the show tonight, but trust me, they won easily against Grand Rapids Union at Hausman Field to improve to 5-1. Number two, Granville loses to Rockford 7-6 to in our game of the week, so they fall to 5-1. Number three, Lowell defeats Cedar Springs 27-8. They are 6-0. Number four, Catholic Central, as we just saw, beats Sparta 21-6. They are 6-0. And number five, Unity Christian rolls over Holland Christian to improve to 6-0. Number six, Rockford, as we saw, we just mentioned, they beat Granville tonight to move to four and two. Grand Rapids Christian upset there by East Grand Rapids, now fall to five and one. Hudsonville, big win over Northview, moves to five and one. Portage Central upset, right, by Niles tonight? No, five. Portage Central beat Niles, Portage 40 Central to zero. Beat, yeah. beat Niles, okay. Almost. <laughs> got, got that, from, yep, all right. Uh, Portage Central won easily. Uh, 5 1 or moved to 5 1. They won easily over Niles and Byron Center. Another big win over Hamilton to move to 5 1. Well, got most of them right. I got, I got most of them. Four out of five is four bad. Five. 80%. Right. You'd go to the Hall of Fame in baseball. Didn't have any scores or results in here, so <laughs> just going off memory, which wasn't good. We're almost done here on the Blitz, but not quite because after the break, we've shown you some highlights. Now it's time for the plays of the week. And we'll hand out our Blitz bosses of the night. Uh, but our, for our top performers, that's still to come when the Blitz returns.